Gemini, as promised, you know, not to make this about myself or anything, but how in the hell you gain more subscribers, you get, you get, you know, your views go up into shorts and people subscribe off of it, but yet they don't go to the video. That kind of blows my mind. Like, what the hell? Like, it, it's just weird. I guess people are weird too. And their, their attention span, their attention spans are limited, you know, because so much information is out there now. If this doesn't resonate with you, you'll know it pretty soon and uh, kindly click off because my readings are personal and I do a personal service for people. So, uh, I'm picking up on something weird for you though, yo. Like, real, real weird that um, normally I can like shuffle and I can do two things at once. I can Somebody can be talking to me and I'm looking at the cards. But when I was trying to do it with you, I couldn't even keep my storylines. I, I don't know, Gemini. Let's talk, man. Let's have a seat. Let's have several of them. What are we doing here, Gemini? I have to really pay attention to your spread because for the majority, you know, I've been I've been just kind of filtering energy now for a while. And uh, then I kind of picked up on yours and yours. i got to pay attention to yours now because some shit just real easy, like, you know, preschool stuff that I got to sift through. But then I got to yours and I'm, I don't know what the hell, what's going on with you? All right, um, I see us struggling with money right now. I hope somebody's not struggling with an eviction notice, but I do see us struggling with money. Bad. Uh, never having enough of it. I don't care how hard I work. I'm still coming up short with money. I don't know if somebody here is struggling with shut-off notices or eviction notices. It sure does look that way in a pre-shuffle. Or your car. Yeah. Oh, shit now. Tell me you ain't going to attack the repo man. Somebody here, male, don't attack the repo man. They got a job to do too. <laughs> or your car poor. That could be a thing too. You real, you real flossy with the car. Somebody is anyway. Right. See, this is what I'm talking about. I, this here is a little bit deeper for me. I got to pay attention. If I go quiet, it's no disrespect. Some people, and Gemini, lately, I can, like, pick up your energy. It's been so cool to read for, but you got me stomped here. What are you doing? You walking away, but you stay. I, I, I fuck this, I'm leaving, but then I stay because I'm going to give it a little bit more time. I'm leaving. You get your little feelings hurt. I'm leaving. And then you... <laughs> and then you stay... You go to leave, but you step, you go to leave, you make it to the door, and sometimes you make it a little further than the door, but you end up staying and giving something more time. I'm not taking all down my glance out, baby, but I'm not, you know, we know how we do. Yeah, what, why are you giving it so much time? Or you're waiting on something better here. Uh-huh, I see now what you're doing. God bless you. Oh, honey. Oh, you might be just younger. You're dealing with somebody younger. You're more mature. Most likely, whoever I'm talking to, you're more mature. <sighs> All right. So what they're telling me is, because I just wasn't, I ain't getting it. You tell me. All right. So they said, all right, I'll tell you what's happening here. Somebody here is dealing with a little fuck boy. And every time you check his phone or you check his whereabouts, because you don't know what this boy's doing. So you spy on him a lot. You spy on what he's doing, where he's going, who he's going with, and what he's up to. And your little heart is just so invested. You're the one that does the majority of the pursuing. And you just pour out your heart. This is somebody who writes novels on text messages. Don't tell me you don't because you do. But see, you look into something and... This is some type of little secret app he had hidden. This is a hidden app on the phone. Something secret here. And you got, when you went to, I'm telling you, it feels like one of them secret apps. Like, say the app was disguised as a game or something. And you go to look in and you grow quite confused. Mm-hmm. Your profile picture may be on his screensaver or something. You two just look so cute. Mm-hmm. You look like mother and son. Some of you. 
and you are totally fucking shocked at what you see. See, this is somebody here stomps off a lot, but then they get they get to like about the door and then they stop. You know what I'm saying? Like this person still hangs on to you. And they've done this for quite some time. And it's most likely because you've allowed it. And this person, why buy the cow when they're getting all this milk for free? Seriously, somebody here is just, um, it's not where they want to be, but they're there because why not? Their needs are being met. Temperance. They're being pacified there. This person goes to leave. Now, this is either you or the person I'm talking about or you or whoever, okay? But I really feel like it's the person you're dealing with. This person does go to leave. Emotionally, this person has checked out. That's what I'm going to tell you. But see, four of pentacles means, well, why wouldn't I stay? I don't have to do anything financially. This person feeds me well. They pacify me. They put up with all my shit. They put up with me storming out. And then this person waits on me. Mm -hmm. So when they do storm out, somebody here just holds on to the person who left. They, they won't let go. Mm -mm. And there they wait patiently. And I don't know if you make dinner or you're like, all right, well, whenever you get here and there you are just waiting to. Gemini, uh, I really, I'm glad Spirit touched on that because I almost didn't take that power cards. And they said, girl, you better look at them. Mm -hmm. Look at your humble little house. See, you're waiting on this family thing because right now you, somebody has completely turned their back on you, but yet you're still waiting on them to come where? Home. You want this person to come home in the future. Mm hmm See, in your mind, y'all going to work together. You're going to work things out. We're going to adapt and we're going to work together. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be so happy. So satisfied. And, you know, in your mind, you have the perfect white fence lifestyle uh, picked out for you. We're going to work together. We're both going to work here. <laughs> I'm going to be able to brag about this person. Yeah, we're both making, we're going to be married. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, you have this very grandiose, picture-perfect life that you're waiting on. It's something right out of a fairy tale. And, I, I, you know, a lot of us girls do grow up that way. We think that, like, and Grandpa, look, the Emperor with the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles in between them. Tell me about the good old days, yeah, when daddy's really never went away. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying. Because I have the house and everybody working together, and there's no bad moments. Everybody's happy all the time. I got the king of pentacles to the queen of pentacles and the emperor and grandpa. Because in your mind, this is your baby daddy, this is your husband. Baby, the reason why I sound condescending and uh, patronizing is because spirit don't put, put me hip to what the hell is really going on with you. See, when I, usually, I, this stuff is so uh, easy for me that I can, I can have somebody talking and I can listen to them and look at what's going on on, on the board. But with you, I kept going in and out of conversation and I thought, yeah, I did promise Gemini. Gemini! Have a seat, ma'am. I do think I'm talking to a lady, but I, I might be talking to a dude. Um, have several of them because uh, I do see where somebody here has been sitting down a long time. Who's this bum? You got a little bum here that's just, you just love the pieces. You love you a bum, huh? You just love you a bum. I'm sorry. Somebody here just loves them a little bum. And in the future, I see you just waiting. You just waiting on things to change. You sp Somebody here spends a lot of time waiting. I'm just going to sit. I'm just going to sit tight right here. And I'm going to be patient. And I'm going to be submissive. And I'm just going to wait on this person to get home. <laughs> I'm waiting on them to get here. And 
I'm going to have their, their, their dinner ready and their slippers for them. I'm just going to make them happy. I mean, is this a, is this a, 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 a sitcom out of the, like, 50s? Uh, is this the Brady Bunch or the Beavers? Like, leave it to Beaver. This sounds like Joan Cleaver, leave it to Beaver. It does. Um, and Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. Yeah, that's exactly what they played for me. Yeah, Grandpa, I see you asking an older man here. In your mind, y'all gonna get this house. We're gonna work together. We're gonna have great jobs. Um, I see somebody here single, but this person will soon become married and ask this uh, Queen of Pentacles father for their hand in marriage. That's what I see. Maybe. Mm -hmm. What is this? I did see the tire. I, I, I don't keep things from you, Shug. Yeah, there's a lot of texting going on. What's going on with all the texting? Hmm? Somebody here is texting a lot. And I and I do mean novels. Eight of Wands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big old fight. You have your you have yourself a little fake on your hands. This person fakes with you. This person will tell you they're right around the corner. I'll be there in five minutes. And then you start growing very agitated. And the texting starts back and forth. You know, you left here hours ago. And I have just sat here and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And you wait some more. And this person does send you communication while you're waiting. Telling you that they're on their way. But yet, no. And to the point where you just like, fuck it and a big fight pops off. This person's a snake. And you do got some competition here, let me tell you. Oh, this shit ain't fair, judgment. No, it's judgment reverse. This shit ain't right. Whatever this person's doing, uh-uh. It's not fair. This is not fair. And I, you most likely are saying this to yourself. This shit ain't fair. Or you've got a parent trying to talk to you. Like, is this how your mom and I raised you? You, somebody here comes from the other side of the tracks. You're like a good girl or a good guy. Mm -hmm. And you ain't used to putting up, you, you've never dated a street urchin before. But let me tell you, okay, with the Eight of Cups, you see the street there? Mm -hmm. And you see that Four of Pentacles? And this is just somebody who lives off of crumbs. They don't care. They eat up all the crumbs. They live off oodles and noodles, uh, cream cakes. They don't give a shit. Whatever's left over. They're a street urchin. This is these. Uh, this person is shrimp. They are the equivalent of shrimp or the lobster of the sea. This this is a person who just eats what's left over. Mm -hmm. Somebody here does eat a lot of leftovers. They sure do. They eat a lot of carbs. Whoever here, this person drinks a lot of unhealthy drinks and they eat a lot of carbs. I am talking about somebody here that is uh, eating way too damn much and partying. What is this? All right, so there's a lot of texting going on mm -hmm. about having a good old time with a bunch of people. This person leaves and somebody here just sits patient, patiently at home waiting on them. And I do think that there's communication back and forth between y'all. And this person tells you, I'm out, I'm at the party, I'm, I'm out with friends or whatever they tell you. And you're patient and you wait like a good little girl would or a good little boy. Mm -hmm. I'm just out with the girls. I'm just out with the boys. Yeah, they are all right. Yeah, you get the truth too. Damn. Y'all get to argue. Let me tell you something. You waited on this person and something here pops off. It pops off. And this person, you know, um, when things get heated like this, you see somebody's true colors. You better trust what you're seeing right now because this is who you're dealing with. You do get communication here, but whatever you're looking at, you're seeing communication between the, the person you're dealing with and a whole bunch of other people. And it starts one hell of a fight, and it's true. There's no denying what you saw, honey. Mm-hmm. And here's that eviction. Somebody here gets uh, thrown the fuck out. Once you get, somebody here gets the truth about it, and out the door I went. Dinner. Yeah, 
Mm -hmm. Give me one bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Is that what somebody's doing? One bourbon, one scotch, one beer. Yeah, some of here get the truth and out the door I went. It, that's exactly what I see here. And Lord, she was so nice. She was lovey-dovey. You got the rent money today? And I said, no. Big pop off here. Somebody here, um, when the pop off, it's like, man, this ain't fair. Yeah, and they sell them some type of little pipe dream here. Whole bunch of them. How everything's going to be okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, in the current moment, uh, you're getting some clarity. And whatever you're seeing, you're seeing how fake this person is. You're seeing um, that this person triangulates people. This is somebody who acts one way to your face, but behind your back, you're dealing with a whole fraud, a whole snake. You're seeing the truth about all this shit, and you are just beside yourself. This is somebody here um, talking to your enemy, like, and you are just, the judgment reverse. If what the fuck was a card, it would be judgment reverse. Seriously. This is a, judgment reverse is basically what the fuck. What the fucking fuck? Explain this to me, Ace of Swords, the truth. Please tell me I am not seeing what I'm saying. Oh, you saying it all right. And whoever is going to be thrown the fuck out right on their ass. What the fuck? You better get your shit and go. Thank God. Maybe this is your wake up call with the judgment. But the judgment, it's like, I got to hurt you. I got to I gotta tear this whole fucking illusion down that you got to this kid. Because he got to go. Or she got to go. They are somebody who's throwing out a little girl. You know, there's some text messages here that are just undeniable. They're undeniable. They are true. They're true. This person's arguing what? The truth? How do you spend that truth? I see this person trying to spend it, but they can't. Mm -mm. They can't spend that. Well, how the fuck does... Uh, you know, because when they dub double down here, this is eight of wands. What? what? What is that? Oh yeah. Oh, they talking about the, they talking about the text messages. Durr. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slow today. Yeah. You waiting on this person to give you the truth about these messages and about all these people? What what is this? Cause I'm like I know what y'all trying to say. Yeah. See, three of wands, five of wands, eight of wands. That's the truth. The truth about all these fucking text messages. Eight of wands with these girls. Or guys, or whatever the fuck. But I'm going to tell you what, it's one sex that this person was predominantly communicating with. Without a shadow of a doubt in the recent past. And right now, we are arguing mm -hmm, about all these text messages. Boy, and you see it for yourself. And when you do, you waste no time uh, putting this person out on AAS. I just hope you um don't, I don't want the next spread that comes out. You belly aching that you want this sorry MF back. Because right now, you really in your ego... About what the fuck did I just see? You need to get your shit and go. Somebody here, you better call Tyrone. Yeah, you better call Tyrone, all right, because somebody gets all they shit put out. I did see eviction when I first started. Yeah, somebody here definitely getting evicted. Mm -hmm. Somebody here a fucking bum, too. They are. You're dating a little bum. And out the door I went. Mm -hmm. Somebody out the door you went for sure. You got the rent money yet for pentacles? And I said, no. <laughs> I'm walking all day. Who's been walking all day? Oh, yeah, big pimp in here. Oh, king of pentacles, you got him twice. Oh, big pimp in here. He leaves. So, okay, hold on. Let me not paint the narrative here of one sex or another. But what I'm saying is, I got King Dingaling here that has the money. I got money. 
And I got shiny things. I'm a breadwinner. I'm BWA out here. Okay, then. I don't need you. I don't need you. But you know why they don't need you? Because you hang on to them patiently. And you wait on, you You do a lot of tech. What? First of all, what adult, not even a sex here, okay? I'm not going to um, attach a sex. What adult do you know that has time to text all day on the phone? Seriously, what, what adult do you know? Somebody here spends a lot of time texting on that telephone, be a king of pentacles. Uh, somebody here was doing a lot of it while they were at work. Or they was telling you they was at work. But I see this person's job is to... I don't know if this person's job is to talk to women all day. I don't fucking know. But uh, King of Pentacles here, he gets a lot of admiration from the women's. Okay? Because there's this illusion around him of stability. Now, why would people have this illusion of him that he's got so much stuff? Is it your stuff, baby? Now, the King of Pentacles can be a man or a woman, but somebody here real masculine about how everything they, the, everything that, that you see is mine. So either a man's doing this or a woman's doing it, but I have somebody here in a very masculine energy who is claiming that everything you see right here is mine. Uh-huh, and they get a lot of attention off of somebody else's stuff. Truth be told, this person is a rat, a mouse. They're a fake and a snake. But they get a lot of admiration because this person um, always has on the nicest clothes and the newest shoes. Well, yeah, because they ain't paying nothing where they live. They're not paying any bills there at all. No, they spend all their money looking fly. Got a quarter tank of gas in my new E-class. But that's okay, because I stay flying. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then, big timer. Old timer, what you look like with the King of Pentacles. Somebody here too damn old to be acting like this. So, that's what I'm saying. You're just dealing with a bum. Somebody here is just dealing with a straight bum, man or woman. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got everything in the mama name. Somebody here did ask a child, did I raise you like this? You were raised better than this. And when you have this talk with the, the real masculine, which is the emperor, because I see um, somebody here was raised right. Like, you, your parents are most likely still married. Um, if not, whoever you call mom and dad or you know significantly as mom and dad, even if it's a mom and a stepdad or, or, or a dad and a stepmom, there's somebody who's been together for ages, decades, and they're asking you, did I raise you like this? And the answer, judgment reverse, no, no, sir, you did not. If you don't put this MF out, I will. Okay, well, mm -hmm. somebody's daddy is not playing the emperor card. No, they're not, or their mama, because it's queen of pentacles. I, I don't know. I, I don't like to attach sex to things, but somebody's parent is not playing about theirs. They're not. They ain't raise them like this. And somebody is definitely standing in their masculine energy. It's probably somebody's daddy. Big fight. Big, 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 big fight. Ooh. Mm -mm. You get the truth about what all this, what's been going on. Yeah, you get the truth about it. This truth is, um, it puts you at the max level of stress that you can take. I mean, one more one, and you won't lose your, you're just going to lose it. You're going to, you, this is when the people have mental breakdowns, physical breakdowns, a physical breakdown where I'm really about to, I don't know what you do when you have a physical mental breakdown. I mean, you know. But the truth here is very, very, very hard to look at. Um, because when you see it, you're like, oh my God, all the work I've done. I have carried this family and you on my back. And even if it's just the two of you's, 
or Lord forbid you got this person's kids living with you and you're taking care of somebody else's kids or you're taking care of the, the, the kids that you two created together, whatever it is, even if it's one, the thought of you carrying all this burden and then for you to see what you see. Ooh, child. Mm. Challenge. Oh yeah, King of Wands, this boy here. Mm. Boy or girl, whoever this person is, boy, they like to, they like to be flossy, fancy, but, oh, uh, what is the song they're saying? Fly, flousy, flousy. We drive the first class up in the room. Champagne, yeah, this person, mm -mm. and you have paid for all of it. You have carried this person. You've carried them. Seriously, like a like a fucking. Uh, you ever go in somebody's bathroom, uh, especially old folks, and the old everybody got that picture in their house. At least back in the day when I was coming up, and and I saw one set of footprints in the sand. Uh huh. Because you carried this person like Jesus. Mm -hmm. You carried this person. You carried this person's cross for them. You <laughs> pick up your cross and walk. Your cross was this person. You picked this big ass dude up. So you was carrying a whole man. I mean, even if this is a woman you was carrying, she might as well be a dude because everything hers and she, it's all about her and you can carry everything. You carry the kids, you carry it all. I just gonna look good and I'm sexy. I'm fine as hell and I'm smug and deuces to you. <laughs> I can tell you this also. With the king of wands here in a challenge position, somebody daddy ain't the one to play with. I can tell you that because just because he's a little bit older than this younger dude, there's not too much of an age gap here in between the two gentlemen or the two females, okay? Because I have two of the same sex here. Most likely I got two dudes, seriously, but I don't want to put sex on it. All I'm going to say is I got two of the same sex that aren't that far apart in age. I'm going to say 10, maybe 12 years, okay? Um, don't think that the emperor here don't uh, still got the juice. He does. He sure does, because uh, when it comes time to putting this 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 boy out, this, whoever, this little girl who act grown and can throw hands like a dude, let me tell you something. Old Dad here is about to come in there and Kirk out. He's about to show this. Somebody here know how to fight. King of Wands in a challenge position. They take action and they take action quick. And I'm gonna tell you something. The Emperor look damn good when he do it, don't he? He does. His ego will completely kirk out. It's already in a challenge position. This is when, um, like, especially if these are God-fearing pe people, like they're uh, real religious or somebody, daddy, a pastor or a preacher or something. Yeah, you go, his human side, you definitely going to see a different side of this gentleman. Mm -hmm. You will see why he repented to the Lord because all that street stuff will come right back to him, especially when he got to put somebody out on it. Do you, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Like, he about to put your ass right on back on the street. You go see, because see, his judgment will become secure, and it's time for him to put the smack down on somebody. And I do see, uh, I do see somebody carrying, I, I, and I gotta be, I have two dudes here, and I do see, uh, when it's, I see somebody get drug. I do. Um, I see, I mean, they gonna drag him. Somebody here's gonna get dog walked. Mm -hmm. They gonna walk it, they gonna walk, they gonna walk this dog. I'm gonna walk it. It ain't going to be fair. And ma'am, if I was you and you got a good mama, she's going to shut the door because there's nothing out there for you to see or break up. Shut the door and come in here and let's just go in another room. There's nothing for you to see out there. I'll tell you that. Nothing. Nothing at all for you to look at. Nothing that you want to see anyway. And I see you real nosy with all that uh, spying you was doing in a man's phone and all that other shit you was doing. Or you're a dude doing this to a chick. All them dudes really don't look at females' phones that much. It's just not a masculine thing to do. Y'all too, I mean, at least the guys I've dated. Uh -uh. Men know when they got these women anyway. Seriously, they do. never known a man to like steal your phone when you sleep go through it or anything seriously i don't men tend, men don't when they're really secure with their manlyhood 
um, and they're about their purpose. But they ain't got the time for that. They too busy doing what they want to do. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean a man about his purpose. He's a masculine dude. Believe me, he's got and that's how everybody should be. I don't I don't go through nobody's phone. Not saying I never have. Um but not now. You know what I mean? I don't now. The minute I gotta check somebody's phone, the minute I'm gonna check up on out of here, and that's what uh, somebody else is doing right here, huh? Uh, see, I've seen enough. Judgment reverse. I have seen about enough. Adios. Uh huh. You see how he's chucking a goose signs? Mm hmm. Adios. It's been real. I love you, Baltimore. Good night. <laughs> I love you, Baltimore. Sorry. Oh, well, I did get into another deck at least. Yeah, Gemini, you have been, I've been really reading your energy fairly decent lately. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to, like, study the cards, you know what I'm saying? Because when I feel like i got to study cards, so I'm not doing it right. You should, you should know what your people talking about. If you don't, you don't need to be on, you don't need to be steering anybody in the wrong direction. You need to work on your craft a little bit more. That's why I just knew that there's something up here. Honey, you're not wrong for wanting what you want. You just want what all women want, or what, not women, although it is a more feminine trait to want what I saw, but I, I'm saying that coming from a feminine. You want the American dream, You and maybe it's a, maybe it's not even an American thing. It's a, uh, it's everybody's dream to have a family, that is successful uh, in all areas of life. Emotionally, financially, physically. We look good as a unit. <laughs> but um, that's not a bad dream to have, but the person you're trying to do it with, no, no. Well, let's see what you talk about now. I hope it ain't wanting this sorry SOB back. Please tell me that's not what we we fit in to discuss. What else are you trying to talk about here? Walking away again out of a different deck. You pull in the same 88. Okay. Somebody here is prevented. Why are you stuck? Uh, they're giving you the same storyline. What's preventing you from walking away? Eight of swords with the eight of cups. Somebody's telling me I'm trapped and I can't walk away. Why? I'm trapped here. I can't leave. Why? Are you in prison? Are you in a dog kennel? Are you a real B-I-T-C-H, meaning somebody has you on a whole leash? This person is trapped, from, they're trapped from walking away. Why is that? Eight of swords with the eight of cups. Why, why is this person trapped from walking shallow? They're being shallow, okay. Hermit reverse. Because somebody here wants the illusion. You want, uh, honey, you refuse to see things the way they are. I mean, Somebody here don't want to be alone? You don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. Somebody here, okay. Because they said abandonment. And I was like, bullshit. And then I saw it. Here's what you better look again. Who, somebody just don't want to be alone, y'all. You ain't trapped from walking away. It's hermit reverse. If it was hermit upright, you, you're okay with being alone. But it's hermit, you don't, somebody here is scared to be alone. Are you scared of the dark, yo? Uh -huh. There's this Ace of Pentacles, this financial opportunity. I don't 
don't want to be alone. I don't want to have to fend for myself. Again, with the judgment card, you're pulling all, this is a whole nother day. Mm -hmm. Spirit by the pool of plenty of ass, too. Spirit's pulling somebody's ass up. This, um, some of y'all know what being pulled up means in more ways than one, but somebody here is getting pulled up. Mm hmm You have some type of abandonment issue. You don't want to be alone. And somebody here is seeing this as a financial opportunity. I don't like that. Or I don't want to be alone until I can get my finances right to go or something to that extent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, it's the Dane Cook bit. I got to get back my 15 CDs, Susan. It's like, why don't you just go? Chariot. I can't, I can't go. And this person's telling this person why they can't leave. I got to get my 15 CDs back on this truck, Susan. <laughs> Yeah, you're telling them that you don't have any money to leave. Okay. Well, I understand that. I do. That's a, that's a valid reason. I'm stuck here, y'all. What do you want me to do? I can, you want me to leave? Cool. You, where am I supposed to go? Here's the chair. There's my car. Uh huh. So what am I supposed to do with the whole $5 I got in my pocket? I'm supposed to just leave with $5 in my pocket. That's what I'm supposed to do? Well, baby. I mean... Here's I'm going to say something. If there's no consequences for this behavior, expect it to continue. Once you um, accept what you saw, uh, it will continue. When there's no consequences for behavior, you are telling whomever. I don't care if you are uh, training a dog, you're training an animal. Um, you are teaching people how to respect you at all times, every day, every minute of the day, where you go to Walmart, you go to a new job, or you're in a job for 15 years, people are going to try you, they're going to test the boundaries, it's called testing the temperature, your temperature will get checked every day, all day, especially by kids, what, the, what can I get away with? It's your job to hold boundaries. Look, I just said check your temperature. Spirit, yeah, I don't want to be alone. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to be patient. Mm. I don't want to be alone. So here's all that temperature checking. Okay. Well, somebody here is playing like real shallow. You're being very surface level. You're acting very calm, cool, and copacetic like things like we've healed things. Because I see somebody, daddy, checking in on the, uh, checking in on someone. Mm -hmm. Somebody here is also telling me that it's okay. I'm just going to give this person more time. You know, you don't get a husband overnight. Do you not listen to these preachers? I mean, I do. I do. I listen. There's a lot of preachers I like. I love T.D. Jakes. Um, I love Pastor Osteen. couple of them I really love. Really, really love. And I understand that great marriages aren't overnight. They're not built overnight. Relationships, great ones, aren't built overnight. I get it. Somebody here is like, um, I just, I don't want to dwell too much on it. I don't want to give it too much attention. I just want to be patient. Eventually, this person will be the, uh, they keep telling me this is a man. Eventually, this man will be who I want him to be, and he will fall in line. He will behave, basically. He will adapt to manly behaviors, you know, adult behaviors, basically. Mm -hmm. The issue is, for somebody who's older, they're doing the bare minimum. Page of Pentacles, page of Wands, this person's doing the bare fucking minimum. What's this person do? So the way they're trapped, I'm trapped, I can't leave. This person, all they got to do is pull up and say, with the judgment, basically acknowledging their wrongs. Okay? I'm acknowledging what I did wrong. Uh, I, furthermore, I don't see an apology here. I do not see a single fucking apology here. I don't. 
-mm. No, I'm sorry. This person pulls up in judgment. They know why. What they understand. They're not fucking slow is what I'm saying. But all this person has to do is what? Bring you flyers? Bring you a bottle? Take you out to McDonald's? What? Page of Pentacles is a very small little gift. I mean, what do they do? Bring you a pack of cigarettes? What do they do? They bring you a pack of cigarettes? They bring you a couple of scratch-offs? They take... This person does the bare fucking minimum. And that's just enough to heal things for you. Temperance. And then this person's daddy again. Not just daddy, but they graduate from a king to an emperor. This is the daddy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when all they had to do was very little. I'm serious. This is somebody who bought you an extremely small... Did this person bring you a card? They just went to Walmart or CVS and got you an I'm sorry card. The person never said they were sorry. They did a very... This is somebody who maybe just took you out on a, a very insignificant date to a commercial establishment. It was not a special place. They took you to Applebee's. They took you to Ruby Tuesdays. They took you to Olive Garden, Red Lobster, Outback, one of them commercial-ass places. And it healed everything. And all of a sudden, I'm not looking at what he did no more. This is this is not only Daddy Big Daddy. This Big Daddy had big dude mm -hmm. with his whole wand in his hand. Must be some good D. Oh, I got to say. Mm -hmm. Little tiny gesture, too. Yeah. Trapped your ass right up, too. This person can really sell you a pipe dream. They can. Mm-hmm. They can really sell you a pipe, dream, and a half. I see a lot of wands. Well, first of all, I think this person pipes you down. That keeps you about half fucking stuck from living. You get really excited when this person does very little for you. And I do mean little. Like, like $20, if you're in America, $20 is all it takes to impress you. And this person has healed all their infractions. Hermit reverse. Hermit. I just see somebody here don't want to be alone. You got some really serious. You got something at, at the truth of things. You got abandonment issues. You don't want to be alone. And in your mind, you in your mind, I don't know why this gentleman reminds you of your of your father, but he does, and that's really messed up. Because I don't see this dude anything like your father at all. I saw your daddy. My name this dude. Not big dude. Mm -mm. No. But uh, in your mind, it is. And I'm seeing Ace of Pentacles. This person uh, just wears your father's crown. Fits like a glove, like an O.J. Simpson glove with the devil card. This person's toxic as fuck. And they're always going to keep you delayed. Here's what I'm saying. You have fallen in love with the potential of this man. Um, there is qualities of him that remind you of a very great leader. Most likely your father, your grandfather, somebody that you've already admired as a great leader. There is. And in your mind, you're telling yourself that marriages or good relationships aren't built overnight. I understand that too, and I understand your logic. But hear me out. This is tarot. And cards don't lie, okay? Here's the issue with this person. You have fallen in love with potential. So this person is also aware that it does not take much to satisfy you. It doesn't. I'm telling you, a very small gesture heals things with you. And then this person's back to wearing the crown when really they should be wearing a crown of horns. This person's the fucking devil. It's the devil card. And this person constantly battles with those two crowns. They've always got the angel and the devil on each shoulder. Um, it's Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Are you getting the good version of this person today or the bad version of this person today? It's very Gemini qualities. But it's always going to be a guessing game with this person. Who are you getting today? I, I, I think... Uh, 
you've fallen in love with potential here. And I'm still trying to remember what the freaking Hermit Reverse is. I mean, all I can t basically Hermit in the upright is being okay with being alone. I'm okay with going within and, and healing any uh, trauma. This is like a daddy issues. I'm okay with healing any trauma, past wounds. You don't want to look at yourself to see what you're, where do you fit in in this? Why is this happening? Because with the 88, this is karmic, and this is some type of little pattern you're doing, okay? That's a karmic pattern where we just keep doing this. People are like, oh, my God, it's the infinity sign. I, I, I don't know about that. To me, it's two snakes. I don't know about that. I don't know about that infinity thing. To me, that's stuck in a hell loop. You know, like, uh, what was that game we used to play? Yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And you got to jump in. And in order to get out, you got to jump out. What is that? Double dutch? Yeah. Jump in. And don't don't skip up. And you got to jump in. Yeah, fuck that. No. And that's what I'm seeing here. You want to jump in and jump out and don't skip up doing it. If this is a game. Uh, five of Wands, you had that. That's playing games. Somebody here playing games. And they're constantly dealing with this. One minute they are a king, and you get this glimpse of who this person could be. But the next minute, it's the devil, honey. Devil. This person switches crowns. They switch, they switch hats. And I think that when you got in this person's phone and you found whatever, you, you were shocked. Because in your mind, you showed me what, where you thought your life was going. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, this person, um, this is common. I think what I'm reading is very common. I, I do. I think it's common. I think your person is common as fuck. I know you love this person. I know you got him on a pedestal. Uh, if you don't give this person real consequences in enough time, but I'm I'm seeing that's where you're fucking up here. You refuse to do that because you have some type of abandonment issues. You don't want to be alone. This person knows that. I got to tell you that, Empress. Look. You also have potential, Empress, and uh, all these financial opportunities. You're quite creative. You've got a lot of talents. I mean, you're able to dream. I think you do come from a decent background, definitely from the other side of the tracks. I think you and this person, I don't know if you're just attracted to like a bad boy type who shows signs of hopefulness. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really, you're stuck. Again, hangman. You're stuck. I mean, I see it in the card. Look, if I turn it this way, what does that look like to you? Do you see the infinity symbol? He's stuck. And who would that be? It'd be this dude, right? Yeah. That you want to relate to a cups. Mmm, that smells good. Games. Don't go breaking my heart. Yes, yeah, somebody likes to compete here. You're stuck in this um, hell loop that you try to pray your way out of. But at the end of the day, there's competition and triangulation here with the lover's card. Uh, where it's always a choice between you and someone else. This person likes to have their cake and eat it too. And it's a matter of time before they start flirting again and they start offering uh, their love, their cup elsewhere. I don't know if that's to a baby mom or somebody, another woman. And I don't see any issues with this woman either. I see that this woman also thinks that she's getting uh, a genuine flirt. She's getting a genuine offer. Um, what I see wrong with the picture is there's a dude out here just offering... Um, you know, it's a page of wands, which tells me the brother ain't packing between me and you. He's not. We only say. He plays games. 
He's immature. I don't think he's packing. Spirit said he ain't. I'm going to go with what they said. Uh, he's a knight of cups, not a king. And he's going up to more mature women, which are queen of cups. He's going up there fully guarded head to toe in uh, armor. I mean, he's... Do I think he's a bad dude? No, he's a knight of cups. But he's the slowest moving knight in the deck. He does very, very, very little. This is somebody that would do a cat call, a whistle or something. I mean, he doesn't do much, not with a page. And he shows up as a knight. This means he's got a bum-ass car, if he has a car, and if, if the car ain't yours. Um, he does very little. He does very, very little. But he has a good game here. You know, um, Page of Wands is also my gossip card. This guy can, he's a smooth talker, Knight of Cups. So, what I don't like with him is he plays games, Five of Swords. He plays games with people's emotions. And if there's this triangulation with him, lover's cards, choice between two. I don't fucking, I don't deal with that. You're dealing with somebody who's too immature. This person's not ready for a relationship. At best, he's out here making people baby mamas with this little small dick he has. And that's my, uh, that's my piece on it. Take it or leave it, Gemini. That's what I got for you because I'm going too long. I'm 51 minutes in. Take care.